Hello and welcome to Copper Gravity. Now I'm not at home in the moment, I'm in Thailand and this is Bangkok. I thought I'd just say hello because it's quite nice to show you, to show that I do have a life outside of soldering. Um, but I'm going to click my fingers and send you back home where I've already began to do some work. I think the first job is to sort out the switches and then mount the bearing into the cabinet. So enjoy the soldering. Bye. Hello and welcome back. This is Copper Gravity. My name's Ian Yun. You're watching me build RBS7. In the last episode, I left you wondering whether or not I was going to make a new switch plate. And the good news is that I have. This is slightly thicker copper and it's got two bends, so you can't get your fingers around the back. It is really nice and shiny at the moment. It is much better. I really prefer it, so I did replace the switch plate. I'm now working on the frame that goes on the inside so so far i've just built a little t out of some pine and it's screwed through the back and to the bottom down here and i've just put some screws into the sides um, to hold up the t now that t is there to hold on to that bearing over there and the next job is to take that bearing off which means goodbye to the prototype and stick it onto the t Well, it's a relatively short length of time later and I love it when a plan comes together. Now, I am the kind of person that does an awful lot of thinking about how things are going to fit together. I think in grids, I think in lines, I think in rhythms, I think in 3D. And I've always kind of got solutions in the back of my mind as to how I'm going to do things. But I don't always know how they're, well they're going to go until they're done. Now, what I've done here is put into place quite a lot of really good thinking. So I've made the prototype, that's uh, this one over here, that's now kind of done with, and it's now a case of taking the bearing out and putting it onto this pine T. So temporarily I've got these little kind of um, 10 millimeter spacers between the bearing and here. That's because I need clearance for the back of these nuts on the spigots to go through and it's literally held on with three M4 bolts. Now they're going to be tightened up nice and tight at the back and that will hold it um, in the right place in X and Y, the right place in Z in this way here and also um, it's going to be plumb so it's going to be square in all directions so I'm super 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 happy to say that it fits. Now height wise I needed to have 35 mil from the bottom to the top here which was about five mil down lower on the prototype. And that means that when the ball comes in and gets picked up, there's only about 10 millimeters underneath the ball. And at the top here, where the ball um, gets pushed out the top, it's only gonna be about two millimeters, maybe three or so at the top between uh, the very top surface of the ball and the underside of the glass. So it is tight but I knew it would be. I said that in the last episode when I realized, I is, is it too big? Is it literally too big? So I think it's gonna be okay. Now, the next job I'm going to do is to take away this, uh, take it all apart again, take this pine um, tea out that um, needs staining. I've done two coats on my test pad here. So this is antique pine, that matches pretty well. So I'm gonna take it all apart, give it a good sand, two coats of this and I'll see you after that. Oh yes, look at that. I've got the T nicely stained, all glued together, really well screwed in and glued to the back and the bottom. And the bearing is now strongly fixed in the right position onto the T. So it's at the right angle this way, the right angle that way, and the right pitch coming forwards. So really happy with that. The next job will be to fit the motor. So I'm probably gonna tape um, some paper or something here so that I can work out exactly where I need to put that, where to drill the holes. I'm gonna use penny washers underneath to make sure that I've got movement in X and Y, and also a little bit of theta or your. And then I'm going to take this apart, stain all this wood up, give it a nice sand, put it all back together and put it on there. So that's the next job.
I've got to drill the hole for the down wires and it's a little bit close to these wires here which I've already put in for the light. So I'm just going to pull these wires out of the way for now. There we go, got a nice little hole for the wires and should be plenty of movement in X, Y and Theta for that. So the next job is to stain this so that it matches the T and then I'll be right back. As you can see it's had a couple of coats of antique pine wood stain so it's all looking nice and matched to the cabinet. I've put some little rubber feet in underneath to reduce the noise a little bit and I now have a motor and bearing system that works inside the cabinet. So the final job of this episode is to now get the track and uh, take it off the prototype and put it into here. This is what I mean about just how hard it is to make this sculpture because the glass is in the way and I'm trying to solder right at the back corner uh, something that I can't really easily get to. So I've got to watch this as I do the rest of the build. I've never really had a rolling ball sculpture that I can turn upside down, but now I have because of the cabinet. So I'm going to add a little bit of copper to here, so it'll be like a sky hook that comes down, because this is all a little bit wobbly, oops, and there goes another joint. Right, I'm going to repair that and add a brace on here. So the top of the track is now really strong, it's supported from above and from underneath and it's in the right place and it's working really well. So let's just have a recap of everything I've done. I've got the cabinet, I've done all the electrics, I've fitted the light, I've fitted the motor and I've fitted the bearing nice and permanently. And now the track has begun to grow. So from the bottom I've got the collection plate, I've got the concave section, the convex section, everything's in the right place and it is working really well. So the only thing left to do is all of the downhill track. Now I can do anything from here. I can have uh, switch plates, I can have ball gatherers, I can have loop the loops, vertical spirals, horizontal spirals, serpentines, etc. Now, I don't know what to do. So if you've got any suggestions, please leave them in the comments. But bear in mind that this is actually quite a small sculpture. It's only this big by this big by not even that big because there's a door that I've got to get in. So I can't have everything in the world. So give me your top two, maybe top two suggestions of what you would like to see me build inside here. Cool. Right. See you next time. Bye. OK, so thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Uh, it's goodbye from Japan. No, <laughs> I'm <Bye>, Japan. <laughs>